Hey guys, welcome in. Going to do a quick, I hope to be quick anyway, video on how to add a custom source to Caltopo. I did a video back about um, the benefits of LIDAR and some other issues. Let me get my Caltopo pulled up here. So this is Caltopo. Right now I have it on base layer, just on the Google map. For what I'm getting ready to show you, you do have to have a pro version, and the fees right now, the pro version is $50 a year. Uh, they do have a free version, and I highly recommend getting it and playing around with it. But the pro version at $50 a year gives you so, so much more. And go back over here to the map. Here are some, get zoomed in here on a city. Here are some custom source layers that I brought in from the state level uh, GIS server. City boundaries. Because I do real estate appraising, whenever I get in some of these cities, I need to know if a house is in city limits or outside city limits. It plays with zoning and everything. But I bring that in from the state GIS server. Here is... Um, Get zoomed back out here. This is the frontier maps that Daniel Boone, you know, the wilderness trail and all that. Uh, they have some minor trails in and around Lexington that shows you if you're into history. Kentucky counties. Uh, it'll pop up. There we go. Takes a little bit to load on that one. But if you're interested in boundaries of, of uh, counties and stuff and gives you a little bit of information there uh, roadways i use roadways quite a bit because some people will take a long driveway and give it a name that doesn't necessarily show up in some of the um, online mapping but i'm just zooming in here so even some of these some of these real small Long driveways that may have one or two family members living there, they have to give it a 911 address. So that helps quite a bit for me and my, what I do for real estate appraising, trying to find around. But that's a custom GIS trail uh, layer that I bring in. So I want to focus on uh, LIDAR because if you're a hiker, you absolutely need this. It's wonderful, if you, especially if you're getting off trail. But you pull these in. Let me get the server up here. There we go. So for the state of Kentucky, our address is kygisserver.ky.gov, and then you can see the rest of the address there. You will have to find whatever address it is for your state that you live in. And then even this will even work on some federal ARC servers, GIS servers. And guys, let me tell you up front, I am not a tech genius, so I may even um, mispronounce some of this stuff or, or not get real technical, but if I can figure it out, uh, you, you can as well. But these are all layers that are available from Kentucky GIS server, and you basically, all you do is you go down through here and you find out what topic that you're interested in. For instance, if I want city boundary lines, let me open that up. And you can come in here to the View Arc Server Online, and it will bring up the map. There's the boundary lines. That's the one that I brought in. So you can view these before you even start to try to bring them into Caltopo. Get rid of some of these. Uh, let's see. Fish and wildlife, a decent one, groundwater. The one we are looking for, and you can see the ones that's marked out. I've already been in here trying to play to see if there's any new ones that interest me. But for LIDAR, it's not labeled LIDAR for Kentucky, it's labeled multi directional hillshade. But if we open that up in a new window, you can go into Art, uh, ArcGIS Online Map Viewer and let it load. Now, as you can see, this is just for the state of Kentucky. But as you zoom in, you can see what kind of detail 
that you get, even to the point to where you can kind of see these roads. These are probably old logging roads. Could be old Jeep roads or anything like that. It will show up wells and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's just a fantastic layer to have, especially if you're getting off trail going cross country. But let's jump in real quick and show you how to load this into Caltopo. Okay, so I'm going to go back and start. I have found the layer that I want to bring into Caltopo. I just pull it up in a separate window. I am going to copy this address. Go to Caltopo, the map. I'm going to click on this add button. And I'm going to go down to custom source. And then I'm going to paste that address in there. Control V. This is the auto configure URL and I'm going to say go. It's going to come up and give me the name that the Kentucky server gives to it. I'm going to say, yeah, that's what I want. Save it. This has popped up on every layer I ever brought in. There was a couple layers that it didn't work, but rest of them pulled in just fine. It says server does not appear to support the compatible projection. We'll try anyway, but this probably doesn't work. Again, eight out of 10 times it has worked for me. It populates the field. If you want to give it a name that's more appropriate, like LiDAR, I'm going to put delete because I already have LiDAR in here. And you have the ability to do it as a base layer or a transparent overlay. Let's do overlay right now. Then whenever you hit save, it brings it in. Again, just the state of Kentucky. And then whenever you zoom in, uh, let's pull in a city here like French. Okay. And you can see the roadways. You can see the tops of hills and old logging roads and everything. Once you're satisfied that, yeah, this is the layer that I want, come back over here to the left-hand side, hit the pencil to edit. And I'm going to say, save to account. That's my personal paid account. Layer saved. I'm going to say, okay. Now you can cancel out of that. Now I'm going to close this map out totally. And over here on the right hand side, you can see there's LiDAR delete. That is the one we just loaded in. If I wanted to find it, if I go into your data and into layers, LiDAR delete is saved. And that's all there is to it. So if I pull up, uh, let's say that I'm up around uh, Cave Run Lake, let's say around Longbow. And if I pull in LiDAR delete as a layer, it'll pull it right in. Just like that. I hope that helps. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% uh, tech geek. I'm not a tech geek, period. Not even close to 100%. So if there's someone watches this that is a geek, I appreciate that. And put in some comments and try to explain how all this works. But anyway, if you follow those steps, that should get you most layers that you want. I think I've only had a couple that didn't work. And find your state uh, GIS or ARC server, go in there and find those layers, bring them in, auto configure, throw them in there, and uh, hopefully it'll work. But if you got any questions, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Until next time, be safe.